Okay, I've changed a couple things here on uh, the mounting since uh, the second part of the video. Um, what I've done is instead of uh, using the post and putting the speed control up high, I mounted it down low into the ch into the right hand side of the chassis. Um, the two little mounting tabs, I took a hacksaw and cut them off on both sides, and it fits, uh, you know, fairly snug down into the chassis there. I used a piece of double sided uh, tape just to hold it down there. And what I'll do on this back bracket in the holes here and here is I'll make another bracket just like this U-shaped front bracket. It'll do the same thing, come across, up, over, and back down. Um, gonna have to have an extra set of the, the posts. I mean, the short posts will be fine. You know, back in the back here. Um, doing it this way, uh, not only does it uh, keep the, the fan from interfering with the body up high, but also a regular the my nine cell packs will fit back uh, right into the chassis uh, with no problem too where the way I had it before they were uh, see that'll drop right back down in there and the other bracket it actually comes across and up and over so it'll hold you know the back edges of the battery actually just like the front one does too you uh, set the front one in there and it'll, it holds the, the battery down too. So you don't even have to go with uh, flat straps on there. You could still use these with the LiPo or the 9 cells. But uh, the only other thing is with uh, the servo, there, the, excuse me, the, the wire from the speed control over to your receiver. I just stuck it under the piece of foam. This is just a piece of foam that I have uh, laid in there. So I laid this in, you know, just on top of it. But what uh, what I'll eventually do is I'll get a, a, a servo extension, tie onto it, and I'll probably run it around the front, under the, the front uh, top plate, and then back over to the receiver there so it's not riding under that battery just to make sure it doesn't uh, wear through with the battery uh, you know rubbing back and forth on it or vibrating on it but uh, you know that is about it so now uh, when you order a lipo what you'll actually get is you'll get two stands like this one for the front and one for the rear um, and uh, I'll have to locate some some of the the short posts, and I'll uh, I'll come up with a set of uh, extra set of rear uh, posts to use in the rear there. So basically, all you're going to have to do is pull your plate off, uh, notch your chassis here. Uh, I'll I'll send you a piece of this foam that'll set in there just like that one does, and then uh, your two brackets your your front one will be a direct fit there, the back one you'll just have to screw in your studs and the back one will be a, a direct fit right there also. And uh, that takes care of all of that. It actually helps keep all the, the weight down low in the chassis also. So uh, that should work out pretty good.